This is the story of Bonko. Bonko's last dance. Bonko's last dance, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. We've been wanting to tell this story for a while. And honestly, we might have hinted at it before on Daisy episodes. uh, Like a long day at Daisy, maybe. Yeah, we... We might have hinted at this story, but we've never... Told it. Well, Bob has never told this amazing tale before. I've never told this tale before because I thought that we should do it on like a special episode or something like that and maybe like i don't know fucking we got 10 likes on a video we should do it now or something like that I guess. something like that i've never told this outside of just you this story but like from this experience it it's what made me a huge daisy fan and just this is this is what made me fall in love with this game completely. And what... I, I basically devoted almost my 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 senior year life into. That's right. And because of this one event. This one event. Because it was special. It was, it was like a dream. <laughs> it was it, like a dream. It was like a dream come true for like Daisy fans or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. But it was so crazy and just shocking that it just made me want to keep playing Daisy so I can recapture it. All right. So how did this start, Bob? It started out in a UK server. I was joining. At the time, I wasn't really like I was really new to Daisy servers, especially on PC that were heavily modded. I was just hopping around a couple. And I found this one that just kind of felt right, you know. It was it was in the middle. It was um, it was he- it was modded. It was a, there was a good amount of mods in it, but it was still like, it was still it PvP. Wasn't, it, it was, wasn't it really was, grindy like the regular mods. Yeah, it wasn't really grindy. It wasn't it wasn't breaking my PC or anything like that. It was a nice mix of everything that I kind of wanted. It was in the UK, and. The ping was kind of shit, but it was still good enough to, like, keep playing on it and just start a base in it and just put a lot of time into it. Uh, when I first started in the server, I wasn't doing so hot. I was messing up bases. I was, I think, maybe I was getting some admins angry. Uh, you know, I had to read the rules a lot because I just kept messing up and putting bases where I wasn't, like a PD. And they had to take it down. One of the admins actually helped me put a base because I accidentally put mine in a PD and they were like, no, just here, just take this one. You know, it's not used anymore. And I was like, cool, you know. I had my own little base. I had a nice setup. I was struggling to get a car, but I was up there. And that's when I went, that's when I met this uh, UK guy. He was um he was fifteen he was he was fifteen fourteen somewhere around that age. His name was um. And you were like sixteen at the time. I was like sixteen. I was in high school. Okay. Yeah. He was um I can't remember his name. He was a kid like me, but. He was um I can't remember his name. We'll just call him. Dre, Dre I think because I think his name was Doctor something I don't know. So I I just thought of Doctor Dre. So we'll just call him Dre. So me and Dre were were kind of struggling too. We had our own little bases, but we wanted we wanted to be like the big guys, you know. We saw these dudes that that, that spent months on this server that had like huge bases, lots of cars, guns, control, territory, geared motherfuckers. Geared motherfuckers. They walked into any military base they could, would kill anybody in their way. Zombies weren't an issue to them. We wanted to be like these guys. You know, we wanted to take scores like them. And and we were we were just dreaming, you know? Yeah. And but eventually you guys formed eventually, a group. Eventually me got me and, and Dre built this pretty decent sized base. We had some cars finally and we had guns. We were outside of, um, 
I think we were outside of Lagovo, something like that. We were somewhere in the outskirts of Lagovo on a farm, you know, trying to mark our territory, get stuff done. And as we were in our, as we were going to buy some ammunition to start a, to start a new crusade to VMC, to just get some, just get some quick cash, that's when we met Bonko. Bonko was just a freshie at the time. He was barely new. Um, he was new to the server, but he was not new to the game at all. He's been playing for a couple he's been playing for a long time now even though he was just a he was just a kid like us he's been playing for a while so he was how old bonko was i think um he was the youngest one i think he was 13 i think he was 13 something like that 13 12 he was the youngest one out of all of us honestly bonko got us into trouble a lot but we like that about bonko you know we 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 thought that was cool. Like, Bonko wasn't afraid to get into a gunfight. He wasn't scared. Like, I remember me and Dre would hide in bases because there was a sniper outside. Bonko would rush out, just spray down, just mow anything outside that was moving with a fucking, with a machine gun. And, and he was just fearless. He didn't care about dying and running back from the beach. He, he was crazy. But... That came with a price a lot. That really did. Me and Dre noticed that Bonko was getting out of control. Bonko was losing it, really. We had... We were going to... Um, we were going to VMC to get some guns again when we got caught in sniper fire from a tree line. And we had to crawl back to our cars and leave... And Bonko was pissed. Bonko wanted to stay and, and like, fucking kill the guy. He was like, what are, you, what are we doing? Why are we retreating? He was like, dude, we have, we have enough. We have, we literally cleaned out VMC. All the zombies are dead. We have all the weapons here. What's, wait, why risk our, why, why risk dying and getting all our shit taken away when we can just leave and, and still make cash? And he's like, no, we have to, you know, he's like, no, we gotta fight, you know. It was like we're not fighting. We're just, it, this is this is a good retreat. This is a solid retreat. Yeah, there's no reason. There's no reason to fight. It's we have working. the guns. He's no, just it, he's it just trying be a detriment to fight. Yeah, on this occasion. Yeah, we have everything we need. Goddamn ads, dude. Oh no, you gotta skip it because I think we might get in trouble for that. Yeah. We might we might get in line to trouble. For wait, that. wait, write down the write down the timeline. Was it, was it eight minutes? Eight minutes in. Okay. Eight minutes twenty seconds. So, Bonko was mad. Bonko was a Bonko was furious. He he wanted to fight. He wanted to fight, and we told Bonko like, no, Bonko, it's not worth it. We basically forced Bonko get to get in the fucking car and to drive off. And we drove off. Bonko got into an argument with Dre. And Dre was just screaming at the top of his lungs, you know, just, just like telling him to just shut the fuck up. We did good. Take the cash, you know. We could, we could get another car. But we can have three cars now instead of sharing one. And he was, and he said, that's not the point. The point is that everyone knows not to fuck with us. And it was like, people know not to fuck with us now. We have, we have, like, we have guns. We have cars. We have the, we were getting the best armor in the game. We can expand. That's how we get respect. And that's how people don't mess with us in the server. And Bong goes like, no, no, no. We have to fight. We have to kill. We have to do all that. Bong goes just wild. He wanted to... Bonko was serious about PvP. That's all Bonko lived for. It was just PvP all day, every day. Always wanted to go to Tizzy and... Uh, wanted to snipe in, in Northwest. That's that's all Bonko wanted to do. And that, that was just one of many arguments we got into Bonko. And one that just completely snapped. Like, one that just drove Bonk over the edge was uh, just a late night 
you know, we we were just doing inventory. Bonko was talking to Dre, and then all of a sudden, they just got into a huge argument. Over about, what? I don't know. I think it was around Christmas during the time. I think it was around. Uh, it was no. It was a. Uh, it was during uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. And th- apparently Bonko was drinking alcohol, and Dre was like, "You're thirteen. Why are you drinking?" And he and then they got into an argument because like, apparently Bonko was drinking vodka, but Bonko says it's okay because he's from the Czech. Rep- I don't think we should say where he's from. But I don't I know. mean you already said it Czech. Yeah, Bonko's from the Czech Republic. Mm-hmm. So Bonko was like, I can do whatever I want. I'm from the Czech Republic. We all, all like minors drink here all the time. It's like but Dre being from the UK was like, nah, that's not cool, man. You you could die. You're, you know, you're not your body's not developed and they got into a real argument. It was crazy. Okay. I basically had to separate Bonko from the group for a minute, for like a couple. No, not for a minute, but like for like in, for like an hour, just so I can tell Dre to just just relax, dude. He's he's thirteen. He's just he's just trying to mess with us, you know. And Dre was like, whatever, you know. And 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 then Dre got mad at me, like, and and Dre had a point, honestly. Dre was like, I mean, it is true. Like, man, what kind of thirteen year old? fucking drinks. Dre told me that listen, this motherfucker is gonna get us killed one day, we're gonna lose our cars, we're gonna lose our cash, we're gonna lose our base because of him. He's going crazy. He's using He's out of control. And I found out that apparently Bonko has been stealing and been hoarding our machine guns in his oh, room. Okay. So we all have like a separate corner on our bases, you know, one corner is mine. I mean, what building was this? It was um, it was like a it was like a tiny farm, and we build like walls around it. I basically had uh, the I basically had one room to myself. Bunko had another one. Dre had his Dre kind of stuck was to. Was this the like room. a chicken farm or, or what? Was I think it was yeah, it was like a chicken farm. Dre had the kitchen to himself. Um, I had a room, and so did Bunko. Apparently, Dre walked into one of the rooms, and then he found, like, hordes of AK ammo and just just a bunch of guns that we needed. And he was just hoarding it up, and Dre told him, like, why do you have all this shit here? And he was like, he told, and Bunko told Dre, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking go kill some people with it. You know, let's go kill some guys with it. And it was like, I'm going to take so all you this. you want to raid or what? Yeah, he wanted to raid a base. And um, Dre told him no because, well, all the bases near us were heavily guarded. And, uh, you know, like people on the server were not fucking around. They, they were hardcore. They were hardcore. So I was like. Someone was always online. Someone was always online. Because this server was kind of big, you know. There was there not only was there Americans, but there was UK people, and there was a guy from. There was it was a good mix of people around the world, so there was always somebody online from all every time zone. From every time zone, okay. and he was like, "That's so not, no time zone was safe." Yeah, and Bonko and no Dre was talking to Bonko, and Dre said, "Did you tell? Did you tell um, my name was at the time was Boxcars." So did you tell Boxcars about this? And he Bonko was like, man, fuck Boxcars. He's a pussy. All he wants to do is just sell stuff and get money. Fuck Boxcars. Let's go kill some dudes. Let's go take a base. And, and, and Dre was like, that's not the right move. I'm, I'm going with Boxcars, you know? He wanted to throw you under the bus. He wanted to throw me under the bus, take the guns, and take the lead. Because I was the one that formed the group at first. I was the leader. And hell, there's a funny photo. I'll, I'll put it right here, I guess, if I ever find it. But basically, it's me and Dre and Bonko sitting together. 
<laughs> by the pier. It was like a picture of like Hitler before the war hanging out with like some some dudes. Yeah, from, and, from I the, a, and I had a and I had I had the black band I had the black beret with the star on it to say that I was like the, Hitler and Mussolini. <laughs> yeah, some weird shit. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Something like that. <laughs> before they got big. <laughs> yeah. Before they got big. Yeah. Okay. And so what happened then? Basically, Dre and a couple of a couple of new guys that we picked up were like, "Dude, Bonko's out of control. He's he's about to take all of our guns." And so crash. Bonko was doing this shit by himself too. Yeah, Bonko was basically going to raid a base by himself and use up a, a good um, like fifty percent of our ammunition and guns just Damn. for one base. Damn. And dude. we basically told Bonko, Bonko, you're fucking losing it. This is crazy. Was it even worth it? Did he even bring anything back? No, we stopped him before he could. We stopped him before he could raid the bases and stuff but like that. But by that time, he already wasted all that fucking ammunition? No, thank God. He didn't. But, you know, he was, he was, he was getting ready to do it. Like, he had a car ready. Damn, dude. We basically stopped Bonko. We told Bonko, man, like, you gotta stop. This ain't true. Okay, and, and what happened? Um, what happened? What did Bonko think of that? Bonko left on his own. Oh, okay. Bonko left on his own before we could say like, "You're out." You're out. He okay. just straight up left, and we were discussing what to do with Bonko, me and Dre. By the time he left, and when he left, he had joined the cartel, the oh, local cartel, and. The day he left the local cartel, I just remember, like, looking at my my server, looking at my group text for my, um, I remember just looking at Discord, and in the server, you know, it's really customizable, you know, you can have your own, you can have your own personal chat just for your group. I remember reading my group chat, and then I just see a photo of Bonko sitting next to black cars, sitting next to three black cars with guns on them, wearing all black armor, saying, fuck you guys, I'm out. Damn. He had left the cartel because his, his, um, his, uh, his armband was red and the cartel was red. We were blue and black. Okay. So yeah, Bonko had left our sir he had left our group and joined the cartel and at the time somehow we were just we were just like okay fuck it whatever we were like we, at first we were okay with it because it was like at least we don't have to deal with Bunko anymore like he was crazy all he wanted to do was just kill and use up all our resources just for dumb shit yeah well, he belongs in the cartel yeah he was in, he was fine with the cartel go sell drugs with him whatever Bonko talked to the top leader of the cartel and said, these guys are easy pickings. Whoa! Okay. So what happened, man? Bonko had supposedly talked to the leader, like the two leaders, the two guys who ran the cartel and said, these guys are sitting on, on, sitting on years worth of ammunition for you guys. Oh my god. Their base is barely guarded. They're kicking it a secret. And and like trust me, this this is gonna be the easiest base raid you guys ever did. I mean, didn't he have the the locks though? No, we changed oh. the locks. Oh okay. we changed the locks right after we found out that he changed right after we found out that he's been talking with the leaders. So we had locks changed and everything. Okay. We were hidden a lot. We were under the radar for a lot of our doings. A lot of people didn't even know we were a group unless you joined the server. Unless you really knew the server and talked to people. Like, oh yeah, those are those are the gang, you know, that's the gang over there. So we were really riding under the radar. People didn't care about us and we liked it a lot. We actually loved it because that meant Nobody cared about us enough to check if we had, if we had ammunition or anything worthwhile of stealing. 
But Bonko ruined that, huh? Bonko exposed us and basically brought us out into the light, saying, these guys, this this is a big buck right here. And you guys have been not, you guys haven't noticed them at all? Bonko showed them photos of our ammunition crates, our heavy set armor, juggernaut armor, our cars, everything. Yeah, Bunko, I guess Bunko had photos of all of our weapons and ammo. So everything. he ratted you guys out completely. He ratted us out completely. And the cartel basically said, you're ours now. And we were like, well, we'll declare war on you guys then. Fuck it. Wow. We declared war on them. And we, um, we had got a guy killed like there was this random guy who joined the server and just killed cartel members like left and right all he did was pvp but he was cool he was chill we had hired this guy to join our server i mean join our gang how much did you pay this guy we paid him a car and we promised him to make him a shack base by zelenogorsky Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty so good we got a, a top-notch sniper guy on our server. And then two more guys joined. And how did these guys join? Uh, they were just random guys. Uh, I guess it's they just had... Just random freshies? Just random freshies who had beef, I guess, with the cartel because they might because they might have harassed them when they were in Save Cell. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that can happen. So... So this, is, this, is, this group has gone from two to three to two... To, to five. goddamn five. To five now. How big was this cartel? The cartel was, I think, seven or six. So there were two guys ahead of us. Okay, that's not bad. That's kind of equal. But the thing was is that the cartel were better armored than us. But the thing was is that they were using military style tactics. I had, um, I was stalking a lot of the cartel members for a couple days. They used military tactics a lot. So And by military what do you mean? Like ambush or No, like they would just ride in trucks, have machine guns, check the places, you know, like like style, like you know, like uh course core close quarter combat. Q C um you know, like course quarter combat. Close okay, quarter. so they would like uh they're, they bum were, rush you. They were bum rushes. Oh, okay. But we use guerrilla tactics. What's that? We ambush them. <laughs> and hit them from afar with sniper rifles and machine guns, and run off into the run off into the forest before they could call in more guys and get a helicopter rolling in the air to find oh, us. Okay. Oh, there was helicopters in the server. There were helicopters in the server. They had a oh. helicopter, but we had ghillie suits. Okay, I see. So, so when, once you guys had your, you know, your your army, and the cartel were, you know, okay, we're gonna get you. What happened? We haven't... Like, who made the first move? We made the first move, technically, because um, the cartel was really fucking talking shit about us and saying how we were just, like, we would be gone by tomorrow. Okay. So we were just stalking the cartel a lot, and we found one of the cartel's routes to Save Zone, and we were planning to um, to put a mine on the street and <laughs> cut a tree down and put a mine in the middle of the street. So when you cut the tree down, you know how it covers the street. Yeah. We we're gonna put a we we're gonna put line up some mines on it. So when the cartel drives by, boo, takes out one of their cars. We shoot a couple of guys. We run out. Yeah, that's actually really smart. Yeah, we tried doing that, but um, surprisingly, the cartel leader himself. Yeah. Talked to us. On my personal Discord. He okay. DM'd me personally. Okay. And he was like, Listen. We do not... Oh, <laughs> shit. Call him. Oh, no. What's the timestamp? Uh, 24. Yeah. Damn, maybe we should. He was like, hey, listen, we can't, we can't, we can't handle guerrilla tactics. 
because they knew that they knew that we would use guerrilla tactics. They were smart. They knew like they knew we were low on armor on armor, and mm-hmm. we had no cars, so we were bound to use guerrilla tactics. The cartel did not have time to deal with us. Okay, they were busy with another war or what? No, they were just busy selling drugs or whatever whatever the server was like selling drugs and stuff like that. Okay. So the cartel was like, listen, we can't deal with this right now. Because they were low on numbers. They had six. Originally, there were 15 of them, but now there are six. Oh, okay. Well, what happened? They go offline or, you know? A lot of them went offline and moved on to other servers. So... Okay. Understandable. Because the cartel's been there for, like, since, like, the start of the beginning of the server. Since, like, 2014. Okay, so that's an old one. Yeah. They were, like, the low... They were one of the oldest groups from, like, the other ones. Okay. So they were like, listen, there's only six of us. We used to have 15. They're, they're more focused on other things, not, yeah. not not like some petty little... War. Some petty little, like, uh, raid. Yeah. And, like, they were afraid of us because... You had money. We had money and we had guerrilla tactics. Okay. And not only that, we also had a top-notch sniper that already killed six of their cartel members in, like, one in one go. Okay. So we were already damaging them. Already, we we were hitting them, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Listen, you guys, you've been hitting us while we were just picking up weapons and ammo for a couple of days. Now, we can't handle this shit anymore." Okay. So we technically didn't make the first move. Uh, yeah. And what what happened then? Well, they were like, "We'll give up Bonko for you." Oh, <laughs> okay. And I was like, "Okay, listen, we'll stop killing you guys and stop do using." We'll stop. We'll stop fighting you guys, but you have to. You have to bring me Bonko to execute him, and you have to help me too. You have to be there to execute him. Okay. And the leaders talked to each other. They were like, "Okay, this gang said they will stop attacking us if we help them execute Bonko. Basically, bring him to us to execute." And and why why did you make this decision? Why Bonko? Why execute him? Because um, not only that, like me and me and Dre were really hurt when we found out that Bonko, in Bonko just joined, just went to another another group just to fucking kill us. And, and betray your trust. Yeah, he betrayed our trust. He exposed us and basically brought us out. To the light. He ruined a good thing. He ruined a really good thing. And it was just... It was just really like... Revenge. S- it was really... Yeah, it was It was basically revenge for not letting Bonko be batshit crazy and kill everybody and everything. And to like, you know, spend half of our ammunition and our, and our guns and cars on stupid ass kill raids in, in Air Force bases and stuff like that. <laughs> it was so nuts too cause I just it was just a random night I was just like okay fine we'll, we'll accept your we'll accept uh, your well, thing we'll accept your um, your offer if you help us kill Bonko during the execution and okay. they were like and the leader was even there and he was like that sounds badass I mean Okay. Wait, so you did this in person or through Discord? We did this through Discord calls and then You guys met in person in game? In game. And we were getting they were like, Okay, fine. Um we'll we'll get Bonko to you. We'll capture Bonko to you. We'll tell him, Oh, we captured you, we have you hostage in um in uh Zelenogorsky military base. And um, we'll say we're gonna, we're you're going to, he's gonna execute you. In reality, you're gonna execute him. Oh my god! So it's a switcheroo. It's the switcher you. It's the switcheroo basically. Bonko was gonna pretend to be executed when he would say like the line "pineapple," and then the cartel would come out and shoot us. So so pretty much what the cartel said. Was okay, Bonko. We got him. We yeah. got the guys. 
but we're gonna need you to, to pretend to be getting executed so they could lure your team my entire team out my entire team out to execute you Bongo we're gonna put you in these cuffs and we're gonna pretend and put a bag under your head we're gonna pretend we're executing you okay yeah. but then we're gonna completely fucking <laughs> just <laughs> double cross double you. cross and and, and Bongo just played into it yeah he fell into it easily and one of the things was like okay Bongo say pineapple and that's when we start that shooting pineapple is the safe word it's pineapple is the safe supposedly word. when Bongo said pineapple the cartel, the cartel was, was going to lit us up <laughs> we're gonna light us up yeah but in reality ba- pineapple didn't say shit what happened then? What what happened? We were driving down to um we were driving down to Zelena Gorski and I just remember being really quiet. I remember the car ride just being really quiet and I was just like, you know, all right. Everybody ready? And then like we get out of the car, we're all walking. Then we just see and apparently Bonko was freaking out a lot and was like the, the the cartel was texting me like hey hurry up because he's starting to freak out and scream and yell thinking that we're are we are actually going to execute him which we were <laughs> but he, he, they, they wanted to keep him in the dark and in the illusion that they weren't. Yeah, but he he was kind of he was like getting suspicious. He was getting suspicious. And he was freaking out a lot, oh and they had to tase Bonko like five times before we got there, just to just to <laughs> shut him. Up. Yeah, they had to fucking tase him a lot, just to help him, just to tell him to f- shut up. Okay. Because apparently he was being super loud during the helicopter ride to Zelenogorsky. Being annoying so was as hell. he buying into it or was he? Just he was, like... but at like right when they landed, they started. He started freaking out, thinking like, like he was actually going to get executed, which he was. <laughs> which he was, but but, but, that's but not, not the... the way he thinks. Yeah, but not in the way he thinks. Okay, so we, what happened when you guys got there? We got there. We were walking, and then we told. <sighs> We told we told him like all right get the bag out of his head. Oh my god, dude, are you serious? <laughs> you know oh. these these uh these ads. these ads are kind of perfectly timed for cliffhangers. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm you just get gonna, there. I'm just gonna stick it to like right here. And just leave it right there. Like right there. And that's it. I'm not gonna touch it anymore because the okay, ads okay. are being really annoying. Okay. Well, come on, come on, get get through with it. You guys get there. Bonko is on his knees we, with a bag over his head. Yeah. Um, Dre took off the bag over his head. Okay. And he was, and all of a sudden, fucking Bonko just started screaming pineapple, pineapple, pineapple over and over again. Oh, my God, and dude. And he kept looking at the cocktail leader like, like, hey, do you smell pineapples? Hey, uh, I kind of want a pineapple drink. Like, hey, do you, do you like pineapples? And he's like, hey, guys, pineapples. And, 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 and Okay, did anybody laugh? Everybody was fucking dying. Everyone was losing their shit. Everyone was fucking dying. Everyone was losing their shit. Bonko just wouldn't stop screaming pineapples. Dre was fucking crying on the mic. And, and like, he had to calm down because... Apparently, Dre had, like, fallen off his chair. He was laughing so hard. Oh, my God. Mike, our sniper rifle, Mike, <laughs> his ass was so drunk during the whole thing, so he was even more fucking... He was laughing way harder than, than Dre was. Oh, my God. Everyone was just laughing at Bonko, and Bonko was like, why are you guys laughing? Pineapple! Pineapple! And, and then I just told Bonko, like, Bonko, this ain't gonna happen like you think it is. No! Oh. <laughs> It's like Bonko. Okay, well, okay. I gave Bonko his last words. Like Bonko, you betrayed the gang, you betrayed me, you betrayed Dre, and not only that, you convinced the cartel leaders to start a useless war against us, just for your pity revenge. 
and your ignorance. That those are your exact words. Bonko, you made you got you done you did this to yourself, Bonko. You were stupid enough to do this to yourself. We thought you were cool, Bonko. We we like Bonko, you did this to yourself, man. This heartbreaking stuff here. Yeah. And I was just like and Bonko was like I was like, man, shut up. You're a shitty commander. You know, like all you did, all you, you were, you're a pussy ass commander. You know, you, you were a fucking loser ass commander. All you wanted to do was just sell guns, and that's it. That's like, the name of the game, Bongo. I was just like, Bongo. Get ready, Bongo. Oh my god. This is it. Okay. What happened? I just remember looking at the cartel, and I remember looking at my group, and I was like, line up. Dre lines up. <laughs> oh, my Bonko, God. Bonko, and I was like, and then Dre was like, wait. It was like, Bonko, do you want anything else before we do this? And Bonko was like, can I have a drink of vodka? And then, you know how on the server you get, like, a modded servers, you get, like, cool drinks. We gave him a drink of vodka. He drank it. It's like, anything else, Bonko? He said, Yeah. Pineapples. It was God, like, did was, anybody like laugh? Yeah, I was like the fucking man. You can hear like the cartel leader. <laughs> oh my God. Dude. And the cartel leader was like, "Yeah, we can. Yeah, he wouldn't shut up about pine." He was like, "Yeah." We, yeah. And then basically the cartel leader told him the truth, like, "Yeah, pong. Yeah, bonko. Pineapples isn't gonna do anything to save you today. We're going to execute you." And what was Bonko's reaction? Bonko went quiet. Oh. Bonko went so quiet. He just didn't say anything. Oh my god. We've. We. Bonko went quiet. And then right after Bonko went quiet, everyone went quiet. I told everybody, listen, line up. <laughs> everyone, I was like, ready your weapons. And you can just hear the just everyone lining up their Mosins or AR 15s, whatever we had at the time. Aim. Just. Everyone will just, just lifting up their guns. Fire! And just. Yes. <laughs> executed him. Executed him right on the spot. And then, like, right after he executed, like, we were like, the cartel leader told Bonko on Discord, like, you're out. Don't you ever fucking show your face to us ever again. And then we told the same to Bonko, like, you're out, Bonko. Bonko immediately was just like, oh, uh, uh, you, 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 couldn't, you couldn't even talk. He was grunting. And then Bonko just immediately left the, the Discord server. I mean, the voice chat. It was... He immediately left the voice chat. I remember talking to the cartel leader like, like, that was fun, you know? He was like, that was awesome. That's the most fun I've ever had in years in the server. Oh, my God. And he was like, we would like to form an alliance with you. And we would like you to, you know, work with us and we'll work with you. And we were like, oh, yeah, we would love that, you know? So we formed an alliance as we were staring at Bunko's lying body. <laughs> oh, my God. Just shaking hands over his dead body. Yeah, we were just <laughs> shook hands. Blood brothers. Blood brothers, man. Alright. We formed an alliance with them. I think a day or two after. You know the guy who said he recorded it? Yeah. He Mike said, um, like, listen man, I kinda feel bad for killing Bonko. For killing Bonko that over exaggerating. And I was like, dude, Bonko betrayed everyone he knew just for his greed 
and wanting to be a big shot on this server. And this is just a game in her way. Why do you feel bad for him? He's like, Bonko's just 13. No shit. And he's just a yeah. kid. And we just ruined... He probably ruined... And he said, like, we probably ruined his experience on DayZ. Ah. And, and now he's ostracized from well, everyone on the server now because... He, because people know that he betrayed everyone to get where he was at. And we were like, dude, but he kind of earned that, though. Like, like he, he did knew, it to he himself. Saw, yeah, he, he did it to himself. He got what he was coming to him. No, no one forced him into that life. No, no one forced him into, like, betraying his friends over having a better car and better guns on DayZ. No one did that to you. He wanted to do that. And he was like, yeah, but... It's just like it, it's because it does. It feels shitty. It feels shitty to do that to a thirteen year old on Daisy apparently to execute them. Yeah. And um. Yeah, he was like, "I'm out." And I was like, "Who was Mike though?" Who Mike was? was the top sniper. Oh, he was the guy you hired. He was the guy we hired. We were like, "Okay, fine, but you know, take your car, take your base. You know, you were you were an amazing help to us." You helped us. So uh, obviously, uh, so overall, that that ended on a equal note. No, ended, nobody was salty about it. It just, I guess, guilt. We felt guilt. A lot of people felt guilty over it afterwards. Afterwards, not during the whole thing because everyone was celebrating and we're laughing. It at, was like it's like it's it such a like a unique and, and Daisy experience. Da- daisy moment. Yeah, man. Executing a guy who betrayed. And then afterwards, everyone starts to realize, His oh, friends. that's kind of silly. But yeah. it's like, it's, that's part of the game, man. That That's what Daisy was made for, for these kinds of experiences. And he left. Uh, he left the server? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, he left the server. He left the server. Damn. Um, the cartel, the cartel was still around at the time, but. We, we were still going, but, you know, pe- we weren't... We were actually taken very seriously. People thought we were sick. After for the, doing that to Bonko? Yeah, people thought we were really cool for doing that for Bonko. So we earned a lot of respect at the time of the server when it was still good. But um, later on, a couple of days ago, Bonko... Well, when this happened, not like nowadays. This happened years ago, by the way. Yeah, this happened years ago, but... um. I had to block Bonko on Discord after the the, um, the the execution. Like after the execution I I blocked Bonko and because I was afraid that he was gonna say something really salty and something really shitty to piss me off and just to get a rye out of me. So I just blocked Bonko right afterwards. Yeah. And um Bonko was not done he was not done okay Bonko was trying to form his own groups Bonko was trying to form a group and to join other heavy server heavy um um, heavy campaigns he was he was actually starting like a military style campaign to get back at us in the cartel oh my god both of you guys yeah and people just refused to join him because they because the cartel and us told everybody like we executed Bonko because Bonko betrayed us and he for any convinc and he tricked the cartel into thinking that we were a big threat to them and we were like easy pickings and stuff like that. And he sh- and and the cartel member even told us like yeah Bonko showed us photos. We told everybody what happened. The whole story of how Bonko convinced the cartel that we and he, him and I should go to war. Okay, and Bonko just because because of his history because of could Bonko's, not get his own clan or group. He, or he could not get his own clan started because of that. When he tried to join our clans, he was like, "No, we know your record. We can't risk you betraying us and taking our loot. It's not worth it." Because he he's just he's out of control. He can't be controlled. You know no. what I mean? No. He doesn't take no for an answer. And he wanted revenge for this, obviously. It was revenge. He craved it. And but because of his history, he just couldn't get anything off the floor. 
No. And so what happened then? When Bunko just, just couldn't do shit? He, um... He threatened to put G- or CP. We might have to yeah uh, get the time time go for uh forty four. Okay, yeah, Bonko threatened to put CP in. Cause he was underage, so the photos would be of himself. Yeah. Not not that Bonko had access to that yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. But he knew what he could do because yeah. of his age. He tried to expose us for having CP when in reality we, he, it was him posting. But at the time, bo- all of you guys were underage. so yeah. I mean, you, you were 16. I was so 16. Dre was, awesome. was 14. But so. obviously Mike and the other guys were like in their 20s. Okay, so it was, it was kind of dangerous. Was but dangerous. this was the only way Bonko thought he could have his revenge. Bunko immediately got kicked and reported out of the server for it. And, um... People told me, like... After all that... During the days where Bunko was just a widow... Not a widow, but an uh, an ostrified person. Solo. A solo. People told me that we broke Bunko's brain. That Bunko was just completely just crazy. (laughs) And that... He's a he's a loner and he he going insane and shit like that because we basically you know fed him his shit and um, yeah bunk apparently bunko just went nuts <laughs> and crazy with revenge and, and all that in the game in the game no, no, no in real life too what do you mean in real life? he was talking crazy to everybody like what was he saying? Just crazy shit. Just just like any like weird shit you can imagine. He would say to the admins. And try to get us kicked. And the cartel kicked. And everybody kicked. He was just saying wild stuff. Well like what though? Like oh they're hacking. They're cheating. They were using. Oh they're, they're, so he's just throwing anything to was, make you guys look bad. He was throwing anything to make us look bad. Okay. Bonko fucking lost it. He just wanted you guys gone. Yeah, and that and that CP's thing was the last straw for the admins, and they completely kicked out Bonko. And people looked at us like, damn, you guys really fucked up Bonko. And people just looked at us like, man, like... Like you were the assholes. A little bit. Some people thought that, oh man, Bunko got what he was coming. But other people thought that maybe we should have went a different round to just kick them out. Instead of executing him in front of... Instead of us executing him, basically. But I, I ask you this. If you could go back, would you have changed it? No. Okay. I it, can't... It's stupid shit to say if I could go back to, to change the past. You can't change that. It, it happened. And it had, to, it had to happen, really. Bonko knew what he did. Bonko betrayed his friends. Bonko, Bonko uh, tricked uh, another... Tricked his new friends. Bonko tricked his new friends into trying to kill us. So he had no limits. Everyone was equal game to him. He yeah. didn't have anything he actually respected or cared about. Yeah. And... Bonko just just was completely mad, just just losing his shit. He was furious that he finally lost. Yeah. He had he ran out of cards. By the time we when we kneeled him down and we pulled out that that bag over his head, that burlap bag out of his head, and saw all four of us lined up while he was handcuffed, he knew that his cards were out. We had completely just broken Bonko. A couple of days after that, um, like a month goes by after the execution. Bonko. Bonko completely has left the server. Dre and I had stopped talking. Why'd you guys stop talking? Uh, I guess we just got old. And we got, got tired. bored again. We got bored. So you, you pretty all you guys pretty much met your peak 
with that event. Bas- no, everyone just basically sort of we met the peak. We had a good. We had a good. Um, we had a good base. We had everything we needed. We've gotten revenge on our, on our one. We've gotten revenge on what we thought was their best friend. And we just we were like, there's nothing else, you know. Me and Dre said our goodbyes. We went our separate ways. I stuck around for a little while. The server kind of turned into a different server. And the map changed, and the cartel had disbanded at that point because their numbers dwindled from six to five, four, three, and they just decided it's over now. Moved on to another server, and Man, so did I. Yeah, they went out with a bang at least. Yeah, and so did we. And I've never heard of Bunko ever since. Now, if you could talk to Bonko again, what would you say to him? I wouldn't. I don't want to talk to Bonko. I want to talk to Dre. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't say anything to Bonko? No. So what would you say to Dre? Then? I would say like, "Hey, man, how you doing?" And I just kind of want to catch up to Dre and just tell him like, "Hey, what what's up, man?" And just see where he was, he where he's been all these years, to to see how he's doing. Because I don't know, me me and Dre were kind of really like. We were really pissed that Bunko had did that. Because, you know, we... We didn't... It was, so, it was just so shocking to us that Bunko would would, would, would... would actually convince the cartel to start a war with us. We thought Bunko was, like, completely fucking nuts. We thought... We thought it would, I don't know. We, we were just completely... It just came out of nowhere to us that Bonko had did that, you know? And, uh, you know, obviously we were feeling all sorts of emotions, but one of them, 100% was just shocked that Bonko was able to fly that story to them. And, um... Yeah. It was... It was crazy. It was, I... I, I just want to know if Dre would still is still playing Daisy, and uh, if he is, um, you know, like what he's been doing. Has he gotten another uh, group started or anything like that? Wow. The rest of the cartel members, I've never heard of them since. Bonko, mm-hmm. s- to this day, is still on my block list on Discord, and um. So you know who knows where he's at. Yeah, I stopped joining UK servers because the ping got bad, and just switched back to um, America land servers, and no longer hang out and or use UK servers anymore. So I wouldn't know where Bonko went or where Dre went or where any of my guys went, like Mike and the others. Wow. Uh, last thing I heard was Mike deleted the videos, stuff like that. Mm. I still have some of them. I still have, like, I think I still, I think I still have some photos. Well, you have a video of the execution? No, I have some photos of the execution. Oh, okay. Um, we can cut to black right here, or cut to, like, a transition, and I could show you some of the photos, I think. So, yeah, if you're seeing the screen, you're seeing, like... Some random shit, and that's what you're seeing. So pretty much that's that's the end of the story, though, huh? Yeah, Bonko really, uh... Bonko was a... Yeah, this is us and Bonko before all the crazy shit happened. That's... Which one's Bonko? The, there's boxcars, there's me. Oh, his Rusty! It was Rusty. Okay, it wasn't Dre. It was Rusty. Which, which one is Bonko in this photo, though? I think... I think Bonko is, um, I think Bonko is the one with, um, I think this is Bonko, and this is, and this is, a this is a Rusty or Dre, uh-huh. I think, but I, I could be wrong, obviously, it's been a <laughs> I, I like your look the best. <laughs> yeah, and this is me, obviously. And the beret, I think it looks better. This now. is me, like, me in the beret with, the um, with the glasses and the mask, I was the leader. <laughs> Yeah, that looks fucking I was the top cool. commander. But yeah, man. So that's the story of Bonko, man. But like, really? Okay, so... After telling this story... How, how do you feel about it? Hmm. 
how do I feel about it? I don't know. I just feel really nostalgic about it. And, um... I, I honestly just feel really nostalgic. It reminded me of, like, my young, like, days of... My, my, my days of barely starting out in DayZ and just, um... Just, like, being a freshie and learning everything. And, like, just experiencing this new game. And just, like... Like being immersed in how detailed it was and how hard but yet rewarding it was. It was great. And doing something like that on a, on a on a game you barely know how to play, like Daisy, was just was just like was just awesome. It was a it was an amazing introduction to the game. And you just kept going. Has anything even come close to this before? To to, to executing bon- yeah. Bonko? Never. 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 Not not no. even close. No. 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 Wow. No. You something like that happening. Something like that ever coming close, never. Wow, man. But you still play the game or have you have you just fizzled out of Daisy? I've I've just started to fizzle out of Daisy a couple like last month. Really? I barely yeah, last month I stopped. So nothing is really just it really hit that spot before, huh? Never. It's mostly just been base building, and maybe and like dying. Dying. Ever base been like building. a part of a? You ever made a group again? Or never made a group. Maybe that's what you should do, man. You should I'm, start making a group. I never remade a group in Daisy. I think maybe you should try doing that because that that's probably, I mean that's how this story started, right? I, just making a group. Yeah, but that's, what was special about it is. Rusty, Bonko, and me were just we barely we barely knew how to start a group. I'm pretty sure I I can't remember maybe maybe Rusty and Bonko were another were another groups. So well, anyway. I think Rust uh, Bonko you said was was PVP heavy. Yeah, he was. So P- maybe he w- he had more experience in the game. Yeah, but he never had uh, experience in. He never had experience in. PVE and base building. All he did was just run as fast as he could to PDs and other places where he knew there were guns and just try to pick up a gun real quick and find some people to kill and take their loot. That that was pretty much his deal though. That was Bunko's that was Bunko's deal. While me and Rust, I think all we wanted to do was just was just collect guns, sell guns, hoard, and hoard, and just, just become huge, just become a giant base server. Just make a huge base, and then once we feel like we mastered, and perfected our base and our and our, and our what's what do you call it um, defenses, yeah. Then we can do that. Then we can do all the PvP we wanted. We want it to be secure, but Bonko said we're already secure enough. We should start attacking. Oh, yeah. I see. So, so ultimately, man, because of this, what did you not make a group because of this experience? Did it kind of ruin it for you? And that's why you didn't make a group after this. I haven't thought of it like that really. I just thought that. I haven't really thought it... I didn't really put much thought into it, like you said right now, but... Maybe. Maybe it's because of this experience I haven't made a group. Or maybe it's because I just was just, uh, again, back into server hopping and just seeing which server fit me right after I left. Oh, okay. So it was the, maybe like a combination. It's like you never stayed long enough to make a group. Yeah. But at the same time, this experience kind of left a sour taste in your mouth about... Making a group in general? Yeah. Well, I'd see. Well, um, I don't know, man. In my opinion, I think you should just make a group again. What if you get another crazy-ass story like this? Probably, yeah. I, I should, really, because... Something like this only happens one in a million. Daisy. Maybe, maybe our comments will... Maybe people who comment will say, Oh, that ain't nothing. I have a crazier experience than that. And if you have... Write it down. We'll find. Oh yeah, man! If we ever get, if we get even like more than one comment, 
Hell, man, we might read your story on the next podcast. Who knows? Yeah, we will. Or, I was, <laughs> yeah, sure, you know, something like that. I mean, it when I think about Daisy and my craziest Daisy stories, it's like I can, I could honestly like. Could you come close to that? Oh no, <laughs> no, not even by Damn. a mile. Okay. Not even by a mile, man. I think the craziest shit that's happened to me is is probably like uh probably being targeted by the whole like uh what's it called the an entire like server but not even on purpose because uh, I was I just got into I don't even know how it happened I, there was like a big ass raid against like because the server was honestly just made up of two clans. Okay. One shitty clan and one good clan. Okay. And so I was a part of a good clan that was made up of like three other clans, but they all pretty much just hated this fucking big ass shitty clan. And so when they were raiding, uh, the leader of the shitty clan locked himself inside like this, this one hallway. And someone was like, hey, come here, watch this fucking door. We don't want this guy getting out. And I was like, okay, fuck it, you know, whatever. I'm not good at PvP, so sure, I'll look, I'll see. There's only one guy in there, the leader. So I was like, fuck it. And the leader was like, man, can you just go away, man? So, you know, he could run off and maybe escape. But I was like, I every time he got close to the door, I would just shoot. Because I had ammo for days because I, well, I didn't fucking I didn't do PvP I had a lot of ammo because I never used it yeah so I had plenty of ammo man every time he got close to that fucking door I just yeah and the guy was like man I'll pay you to leave me alone and I was like no <laughs> I even threw some grenades in there but for somehow he just kept like surviving yeah. I don't know how I think because there was actually a lot of barrels just a lot of fucking loot in there so maybe maybe he just had that much medical equipment and, and like uh, needles and shit. I don't know. Yeah. But eventually, <laughs> the, the some guy was like, "Man, he still isn't dead." I was like, "No, nah, he just doesn't want to. He's he's staying in there." And the guy was like, "Fuck it. He got a bunch of C four. Yeah. And this was it. He was gonna die. And I could hear the guy being like, "Hey, what are you doing with that? Hey, come on, don't do this, man. You know, <laughs> will you?" Yeah. And the guy just filled up the that that fucking door with c4 and like threw it inside the base and everything and so he said okay go downstairs and we all went downstairs me and this guy and we just hear <laughs> we go up we finally like open the door because it was ruined door was ruined that's how much c4 he had and we just saw his dead body and in the in the discord chat he wrote down like i'm coming after you whack house i'm like I didn't oh, do I didn't put the C4 there. Damn. Why the fuck? Why the fuck you blaming me? Blame the guy who put the C4 there. But he was mad at me for some reason. I guess just because I was there. I think he's well. You kept him in the room. Every time he tried to leave, he'd shoot. You'd shoot him. For, pretty much, I guess I I sentenced his ass to death by not taking his bribes. But still, I was like, why me? I didn't kill you, man. But then once the raid ended. Pretty much everyone went their separate ways, right? You know, yeah. everyone, uh, you know, did. And my clan, it was kind of like a world war, honestly. It's like every clan united into one, mm-hmm. and so did uh, the ugly ones. But yeah. once the war ended, only the good clan dispersed into their individual clans. Yeah. But the bad clan, they stayed united because of how many deaths they were. So for, for the big clan, a lot of people died. But the guys who survived in each clan just united into what, a normal sized clan. Yeah. And they were after my ass for some reason. Because I was there with the leader. Oh my god. And I rem- I still remember him, you know, at at everyone, I want Whack House dead. Two million or bounty. Dead or alive? Dead. Not oh. alive. <laughs> <laughs> dead. Killed. They, they wanted to kill me until I quit the server. Whoa. Pretty much. And I, but, like, this is the thing, man. I didn't do anything. Yeah. 
It, so it's not even as good as the Bonko story because well, I was I was really just a bystander. Were you killing anybody to run away? Was it like a no was man? It like a, out the of that fugitive? whole raid, I swear to you, I killed the least amount of people in that raid. But because when the clans disbanded, my clan ended up uh, completely disappearing because people just went offline. So I was solo too. And so it was like, oh man, this is just a recipe for disaster. You know, I'm solo. The leader's after me. No other clan's going to take my ass because then that whole clan is, is dead. So I was genuinely just in my little shed. And I was like, man, I am so fucked. Because yeah. one half of the server does not care whether I live or die. And the other half, they're out for blood. <laughs> So I was really like, you know what? I, I think I, I think I'm gonna log out for the day, <laughs> and I just did not log out, log back in for another three weeks. I know that's some pushy shit, but but come on, what would you do, man? I don't know. What would you do? Like I never pissed off. I never pissed off. Half a server, dude. Half a server was after me. I was like, not only that, man. he he didn't say like ten k. No, he said two mil. Or how many did he say? How much was on? I don't body? know. I think it was like. Maximum amount of money. This guy wanted me. My he wanted my head. Oof. I did nothing. I did nothing to this guy. I don't know, but he just wanted my ass dead. Cause, cause I I kept I, I watched him. Pretty much. Honestly, I really don't know how the hell he did. I guess you know what it could have been, cause the guy who put the C four there. He was in a clan. And that clan does not. Did maybe not he thought I was that, an easier target. Maybe. Maybe he thought that he gave the C four to you. Maybe man. And then you I, were the one that was like, okay, I'll put it at the door, and you put the. Door. Yeah, maybe that's the case because I don't know if uh, in kill feeds they record the death as killed by C four. I don't know if it says killed by C four placed like by blank. Yeah. So maybe they, I don't know, maybe he did think it was me or... That place to see for. I don't know, but I really didn't even send any messages, so I, I mean, I didn't even do it. I really didn't even say anything. I, I was quiet as a mouse. Honestly, I never talked on this. I still don't talk on Discord. Honestly, um, I love reading them. <laughs> <laughs> I love reading the drama in them Discord servers, man. Daisy drama is some of the best there is. It really is. Like I just love reading that shit like yeah. like it's some like gossip magazine man. Bonkos was great too. Like, yeah, I, like the long ass text messages of like you killed me. How could you fucking? You I'm coming after your ass. My clan's big and it's gonna destroy your clan. I, I remember reading Bonkos' desperations to start a campaign against us. What do you do, man? Like posters of like I need you. No. <laughs> to destroy no, this but life. it felt like it. I remember <laughs> him like walking up. I remember him talking to like the server admin who has his own personal like um, clan. Clan. He was remember. like, he was like, let me join you. Come on, like oh, I know, man. I know where they're at. I know where the cartel and the oh, and the gangs at. That's sad. I, like I could tell you where the loot's at. I'll give you the loot. I don't want anything. I just want the revenge. See, that's dangerous. And right? um, and that's I remember, and I remember being one of the. I remember he was like, "Can I join your clan, clan, please?" I'm having trouble being a solo, and he was like, "And this was hilarious." The clan leader's response was like, "No, no, we don't want you. No, we don't want a crazy motherfucker like you. We don't want a traitor like you in our clan." And he put the smile emoji. <laughs> the smile and, emoji is just perfect. Yeah. yeah, and and Bonko was just completely lost in in everything. But to me, I think Bonko works better solo, because obviously he can't work with other people unless they're literally like clones of him that agree with everything he says. Bonko was Bonko completely lost himself <laughs> when Bonko completely lost himself. Not not. The day we executed him, but the day after, when people like, when when people found out of Bunko's true colors, Bunko's true intentions, and that's what made him lose the server, made him do that crazy shit with the, with the Discord messages, and the admins just had completely had to put him down. 
Pretty much. I mean, uh, even though we put him down, they had to put him down again for, like, yeah, like, l- like literally, because he was just out of control with rage and anger towards us. The, the, the servant admins even told us like maybe it is good for you to leave because, Bonko might might go on a re- revenge crusade and he will. He it's likely that Bonko will come back for you. Yeah, but I mean, by that point, it was kind of old shit. Yeah, it? by that point, we kind of agreed. Like, yeah, it's time for us to go anyway. <sighs> Man, I wish I could. No, I, I don't know. I, I really wish I could talk to some of the old guys. Not Bonko. I don't, I don't want to talk to Bonko. But I wish I could talk to some of my old uh, server guys and say, like, hey, like, you know, I'm back and... Uh, What's up? But the server... But if you guys were on Discord messages, why don't, why don't you just send them up to the... Uh, I kind of left the server and I didn't really, like, put everybody on my friends list. Oh, I see. You know? Uh, but it wasn't, like, tight like that. Yeah, right. We weren't, like, like ooh, buddy-buddy, you know? We were just cool. Oh, okay. That reminded me of, um... You actually reminded me of another story. Another Daisy story. What? You already know the story, but, uh... The fans don't. Remember the time I joined, I finally went back into American servers and I joined this other, this really nice server. It's a vanilla server, but for PC, I had met a friend. I was walking around, um, I was walking in Bears, you know. I met this guy, he was like, yo man, what's up? Are you friendly? You know, that's how it starts, you know. And we were friendly and we were looting together and we decided, okay, let's go to the PD. We go to the PD. I just met this guy. He's cool, though. You know? I met this guy. We're in the PD, and we're looting, right? And he's on the top of the thing. He's like, yo, watch out. Guys. And, like, and there's, like, four guys running with machetes, and one, when like, two of them had, like, machine guns. You know? Ooh, okay. The scorpions. I tossed him my shotgun. Like, maybe it was, maybe it was an ambush or anything like that. Maybe he was with them, but... I kind of trusted the guy, and I was just like, fuck it, take my shotgun, I'm going to use my pistol. I throw him my shotgun. I give him the rounds, I'm like, get ready, they're coming in. We're, we're, oh my god, we're, dude. We're, we're, I'm, on the, I'm, on the, I'm on the room, I'm on the room, looking down at the stairway, he's on the other side looking at my, he's looking at my blind side. The guys with the, 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 guys with the machetes and knives, they come running in to ambush us. I, I mow them down with the pistol, but they're still coming. One of them gets too close to me. Guy with the shotgun, boom, just right in front of me, just explodes the guy. Just puts him down immediately. Oh my God. The two guys look at me. They start lighting my ass up. I get hit twice. I run back. I, I, uh, I retreat back in my room. He's like, yo, dude, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But they're coming in. Get ready. They come. They 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 literally like start throwing shit. Pretend they start like rushing in, shooting at the open wind, shooting at anything they see. One guy's outside with a with the with the machine gun. Another guy's outside. He's shooting the windows just in case that we peep out. Oh my! These guys have ammo for days. These guys don't care about wasting ammo. They're just mowing down anything that moves. My guys with the shotgun just. Boom! Just they can just hear boom, boom, boom. I run out. I see the guy with the I see with the guy with the machine gun that's peeking through the windows trying to take anybody out. He sees. I shoot. I kill him. I I, I run my fucking pistol. It must have. It must have. I don't know what happened to my pistol. I think it jammed or it must have run out of bullets. I throw it at a guy who's. I throw it at another guy with the machete who's running at me. I pick up the. I pick up his machine gun. As quickly as I can, the guy's hitting me with his machete. I just, just, just completely empty a mag out. I, I search the body again. I pick up more magazines. I, I rush in. I see that. I see that there's, there's dead bodies everywhere. There's like six people in the PD dead. Like on top three, on the bottom three again. My guy, I, I couldn't tell who where my guy was at. So I'm like, yo, dude, you're all right. And then I hear it's like, hey, don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. 
And then I see one of the guys with the machine gun on the bottom floor. He was in the corner hiding, fucking um, bandaging. I just look at him. He's like, wait. He couldn't even get his second word out. He just said, wait. And I just lit his ass up. Oh, my. As he was bandaging. Just. And, then, and I don't waste a bullet. I run out. Uh, I, just, I keep running around the PD because I can't find this dude's body. And I'm just like, yo, you made it. You all right? Dude. Dude. I keep walking around the PD outside because I thought I saw him run out. Trying to escape from the guy with the hatchet. I'm like, yo, you okay? You made it. Silence. Completely silent. Not a single word. I run back in. I look on the top floor, just three guys dead. The bottom floor, he died. Damn, he died, like, bleeding out? He or? died, he, uh, the guy with the machete must have got him behind his back. Oh. You can see, though, you yeah. can, I, 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 I knew it was him because he had shotgun rounds in his, in his, uh, in his jacket, in his hoodie. Wow. So I'm like, man. this must be him, because he's got the rounds in his hoodie. Well, he had the shotgun on him? Yeah, he had the shotgun okay. on him, and he had the... He had, the, he had the things. I was just like, fuck. He's down. Shit. Damn, bro. I pick up his shotgun. I pick up his his, his pants and everything. Because mines are just ruined. All of my clothes are ruined. I just pick up anybody's clothes right now. I get his pants. Uh, his, his, his fucking hoodie was completely ruined. Like, the machete really fucked him up. Yeah, bro. Everyone's dead. A guy unconscious. It must have been a machine guy because I finished him off. You know, everyone was just dead. Damn. And so that was crazy. That was a you crazy... You survived. It was an ambush. And apparently, you survived that and, encounter. And Only here's you. Here's the thing, right? I survived in a cannibal gang. Oh, how'd you do that? Because there were cannibals. They had human meat on them. Oh, my God. Well, what happened, man? They were just cannibals. They just had human meat on oh, them. Oh, so they tried to... They tried to eat us. <laughs> like what? They were trying to machete you? Yeah, they were trying to machete us and kill us so they can eat us, apparently. I don't know. I don't know why you can't just find food or beans in one of the houses. They just, they just said, okay, we'll just kill them, take their guns and eat us, I guess. But um, what what was the question again? Probably the cannibal killer? Or... The, you know, actually, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a story... You told me this, man. I was there, or no, I wasn't there. But like, apparently you were, you were like killing someone, or someone was trying to ambush you, but they said something, and you were like, and you killed them before they could even finish their sentence. And then you walked into my room, and you were like, I just, I just killed someone. Like okay. you look traumatized from okay. that. What happened? I was in the capital of Chernogoski. Okay. I just left the PD. I was walking to the next one by the soccer field. Okay. And Chernogoski, do you know what I mean? Do you know? Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Okay. <clears throat> As I was walking up there, these two Frashies, they were Frashy. One of them had their shirt, but they had like cargo pants and another one had um, a full on, a full on, um, <clears throat> um, uh, firefighter suit on. The whole firefighter outfit. They were running at me with, uh, mm, they're running at me with um, with hatchets and stuff like that. And, you know, the the firefighter axes. Yeah. And I was just like, fuck, they're running. And they were like, hey, stop, 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 before we kill you. They don't, they didn't see the pistol. I had my pistol hidden. And I was just walking around with a machete or something like that. Or I think I was just walking around with nothing in my hand. So they're like, stop. I run into a house. One of them runs in. I immediately just blast him. Just blast him. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, shit. He sees his friend just get immediately just put down with my pistol. <laughs> he starts running. And I'm chasing after him because I'm pissed, you know? I'm like, these motherfuckers are trying to kill me. And I'm just a fresh. I'm just trying to get some more ammo for this Glock. And I run in, I rush in, I see him hiding in one of the one of the shacks, I just burst in, and I see him, and he had his hatchet in his hand still, so I'm thinking, he's gonna, he's gonna hit me either way, 
and, and instead of hitting me, he just says, stop, I'm a fresh, and then he killed him. And that got to you? It got to me because I was like, oh, fuck, they're freshies. They were just gonna fucking, they were just freshy bandits. And I well, was they're like, still bandits. Yeah, but fuck, they're freshies, you know? And I, and I had a pistol. But it was like, I got lucky, you know? It was just, it was just the UJ. And I, don't know, I was just trying to fucking walk to the PD to see if they got more of 3 380. Well, that got to you. Because I remember, because it's almost like you killed a real person. Yeah, because it was a freshie and the guy was screaming in the mic. Oh, okay. He was being, like, really dramatic about yes, it? Yes, he was being so over dramatic about it. He was like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, God, you killed him? And then he was running. <laughs> and I was just like, fuck. He, I'm like, I don't care if he's being over dramatic. He's going to kill me if I don't kill him, you know? And I was just like, fuck. I think, I was just like, fuck it. I was just so angry because I was just, I literally, I was, it's Daisy, you know? Like, I, you know, you're barely getting started. You're already going to get killed. Yeah, I'm already going to get killed. I was like, man, fuck this dude. And, and then I just fucking lit up his friend and then, just do runs in and he's like, wait, no! Just... <laughs> I think that's what got you, man. Like, that last minute, wait, please, no! And, like, and then you killed him. It yeah. was so cold-blooded. Yeah, was... it was so cold. I was just like, oh, fuck. I forgot. Like, this can get <laughs> it <was> real. Like... <laughs> I, it was nighttime, The guy was too. being so overdramatic, to be honest with you. <laughs> he he you was being that. so overdramatic. This was, like, at, what, 2 in the morning? Yeah, I remember because I was watching TV late at night, and then I just hear you open my door and you just like walk in slowly. I could see your like your shadow. I just see your shadow, and you're like, Mac, something just happened, and I'm like, Oh God, what happened now? I'm like, Yeah, Bob, what happened? It's like, I just killed someone in Daisy, and and. It was fucked the up. The thing was, is that, like, um, I, like honestly, I was having already, uh, like, before I was playing DayZ, I must have been having, like, a really shitty day. And I got to you. And then I was like, I'm going to make myself Wait, is it better. this place? Yeah, it was there. <laughs> it was right was, there? Yeah, it was right there. I was, I, like, if you go down that street, I was running. And you go up, and I was walking literally straight through that street, up oh the street. My God. Like, where this guy was at? Here, let me, um... Yeah, yeah, that turn back. Let's see. Oh, um Was it that one? No, no, it wasn't there. I wasn't walking down there. I was walking Okay, so over this corner right here, I was walking down the street up here. Okay. And then I, um, let me see. Yeah, okay, so I was walking, I just, over here, I was walking up here through the, through this, um, through a train station up here. And I was just like, right when I passed the train station, I keep going and I was getting close to the other PD by the soccer field. Okay. That's when I. That's when I shot. That's when I met the dudes. Mm. Like right when I was walking to the next PD in Chernogoski right here. Wow. Like not here, but like right when I passed the train tracks and I see the soccer field and the other PD. That's when I saw him. Oh. Okay. I don't Wait, know. could you say where you where you killed Bonko on the the Cherno map? I yes, it was in um, it was in the train tracks of Zelenogorsky. Wow! It, I remember. You know the exact spot. It was in. The, it years. was. It was in the. It was in the. It was on the north south. It was on the north. I think it was on the north, northeast. You know what would. It be was on the so, northeast. You know what would be so fucked up and epic though, if mm-hmm. next time, you get into a situation like this and someone's like, "We gotta kill him," and you say like. I know a spot. <laughs> and you bring him to the train tracks in Zola Nagorski. It was on the south. It was on the... Uh, this is like... It was on the left. It was on the left of the train tracks of Zola Nagorski. Wow. 
Like, I don't know. Uh, let me see. Zeleno. I can't, I can't. Uh, I don't think there's a video for that, but like, damn, man, that's crazy. Damn, yeah, man, honestly, I have no, I don't really have a story like that, man. Yeah, here we go. I, as much as I would love to have a story like this, man, I just haven't because, well, they, they yeah. see uh, uh, I feel like if I was just a little bit better yeah. at PvP or PvE, man, like I'd probably have more Daisy stories. Yeah. But, but I'm more of a base builder hoarder, man, if I'm being real. Okay. If you keep walking down these train tracks... Somewhere around here. I'll show you right now. Oh, can't find a good angle of it, but. If you kept walking down this train track, you'll see the exact area of where I, where we put down, where we put, uh, you know. Executed uh, Bongo. Bongo's, Bongo's resting place. Where we executed <laughs> Bongo. Like, right It was like, cause it was a far away. It wasn't close to the city. It was far off the city where we killed them. Oh, okay. It wasn't anywhere near. It was like, a little secluded by the woods. No, it was um, it was the train tracks, like, somewhere where he's standing right now. Like you see this wall. Yeah. It was like if you follow the train tracks, there's a wall exactly like this. Mm. Way in the back of Zelenogorsky. Because the thing was is that we didn't want to execute uh, we didn't want to execute Bonko by we didn't want to add we didn't want to ask permission from the admins to execute Bonko outside of PvP. We were like, let's drag him to a PvP area so we don't have to we don't have to ask uh, the, the permission from nobody. Hmm. So we were like, okay, let's all meet up at Zelenogorsky because... Um, it's one of those servers. It's one of those servers. Okay. It was empty at the time. It wasn't a lot of people, so we knew that we weren't going to meet up with any freshies or anything like that. No. And even if we did, we were loaded. Yeah. Yeah. Like, way back there, that's where we executed. Wow. We walked... Um, we, we, not only that, but we wanted to meet in Zelenogorsky because it's like it's the perfect place really to meet up in a spot. It's like right smack in the middle. You know that your base is nowhere near it. Yeah, you feel comfortable. Yeah, you're like, oh, he he told us to meet in Zelenogorsky. That means he must be around this area. No. <laughs> yeah, we were like, he must be around this area. No, like this is a place where everyone can meet publicly without feeling like oh we're too close or we're too or we're, we're like our base is like right over there across the street no we we didn't want anybody to feel like like we were getting a we were getting like cozy we were getting cozy you know everyone knew what we were doing nobody was like like trying nobody was like trying to betray anybody no one was trying to get info we knew what we why we were there, and we weren't gonna mess around. We weren't gonna fuck around. All right. You know. I see. So you guys did it, huh? We we did it. I feel bad for the for the cartel because they really did all the heavy work. They're the ones that dragged out Bonko. They're the ones that had to tase him from because he was being too loud. So, wait, did Bonko ever actually try to get you guys banned through the admins? What the admins say? The admins knew... The admins obviously knew Bonko. And so, the, in a way, they were also cool with this? The admins thought we were fucking badasses, honestly. Damn, even the admins? The admins thought we were badasses. 
like holy shit, these guys got revenge on one of the tra- on one of their traitor on a traitor. Like, but they did shit. it in such a like a cool badass they way. They did too. it in such a brutal way. It was it was honestly like when the mammoths found out, I think they were even jealous. Like, oh man, I wish I was there or something like that. Honestly, yeah, man, I'm jealous too, man. Like, because like, I I wish I was a part of that moment. That that uh, like. Really, that's a story to be told. Like oh. you, you say that. Oh, oh, oh. What? I. Oh God! Like right over there. Like right when that wall's at, if you keep going, that's where he, that's where, that's the exact spot we got him. Because we, we were like, no, we got to drag Bunko a little bit closer, you know. Okay, just to make it legal. Just to make it legal. So we're like, okay, Bunko, get the fuck up, you know, <laughs> get closer to, get closer. And right, right when we hit, like, right when everybody, right when everybody had the mark on the bottom right here, that said, this is a PvP zone. If you play, if you play on modded servers and you know, like, you have your PvP zones, you'll see a little dot. You'll see like a little emblem right here of two swords crossing. That's when you're in a PvP zone. That's when you can mm. kill other players. So once when everybody was like, everyone got the mark on their, on their uh, bars right here. We were like, okay, we're ready now. And like we. Uh, you really set this up, huh? And we wanted, yeah, and... You were really a mastermind here, huh? I wasn't a mastermind. I, like, I just said, like, we're gonna execute Bonko. Let's do it in Zelena Gorski, and that's it. You know? Everything, everything really just... I, everything fell into place. I didn't really was like, you know... I wasn't really into the details. It just... Everything just really just fell into place, like, perfectly. Oh. Everything just really fit in, like um, like no um, no OCD. Like it was just everything just perfectly was laid out for us. See that that's what I mean, man. This is why this is such a such a good important thing to really. Honestly, we gotta record this for just prosperity's oh, sake. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Like if you keep going down the train tracks right here, that's where you. Mm, that's <laughs> where little, who's at. A little bit of Kermit the Frog just came yeah. out. <clears throat> Kermit the Frog, yeah. I executed a fucking asshole. Well, you go down this, uh, this uh, concrete wall, and then this is where we killed him. Yeah. This is why we, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is where we put put him on his knees and shot him in the back of his head. Yeah. But yeah, that's where we, that's where we clipped him. Ah, my God, dude, it was... Uh, let's, let's see if we can find some more background footage. Well, I mean, the story's pretty much done here, though. I yeah, mean, we might as well there's, just... There's not much else to tell. Yeah. Bunko's dead as fuck. Bunko's dead as fuck, and, um... Uh, it, it's over. It was over for him. Yeah? Um, yeah, I, I we even told, like, other stories of, like, yeah, that's... Like, you know, yeah, the, 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 the cannibal aftermath, attack. The, the cannibal the, attack, the aftermath. That one guy that... Uh, the disbandment, everyone separated, everyone went yeah. their own ways. Mike deleted his footage, and, uh... Damn, it's a shame Mike deleted that shit. Because Mike, like, we didn't tell him, like, we honestly kind of kept uh, Bunko's age hidden from Mike. Oh, he didn't really know? He didn't really know he was 13. Oh, okay. And, uh... But then, like, but, I but feel like once, it wasn't that bad once Rusty, once Rusty told him, like, yeah, he's 13... Maybe that made him feel like, oh, dude, hey, he's just a kid. What the hell? Well, I guess if you say so, man. That but, like, really made him feel like, ooh, you know, that's nasty. I mean, I guess. But then again, you were 16. Your other friend was, like, 15. It's like you're all in the age range to be fucking around on a video game. And this is all that it is, man. You're just fucking around a video game. And this was just a really fun fucking, like, It was moment. a fun experience for all of us. Like, you were all laughing, you were all having a good time, you all came out badasses in the end. Bonko's the only one who got out of fucking loser, but guess what? He played the fucking role, man. He he wanted to be the villain so bad, then this is what, this is what you get, man. Yeah, really. I mean, bite the hand that feeds you. Do it. Yeah. This is what happens. Yeah. I mean, I know people are like, oh, but he's just a kid. It's like, well, yeah, this is just a game, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. The, the, we, the admins, um, 
I just remember the admin saying, oh yeah, like this is gonna get you some mad respect. <laughs> oh my like, god. This, really? this is some awesome respect. Like, um, like the admins were like, holy shit, these guys are badasses. These guys are cool, you know. And we, uh, we honestly felt like we were on top of the world in that server. <laughs> oh my god. Because like, right after we killed Blanco, like, the admins thought we were awesome for doing that. They never had that ever happen in the server. Really? No one's ever executed military style a person in the server ever. Damn. Like, there's always been, like, oh, I'm just going to snipe you from the distance. Yeah, well, obviously. Not. Like, everyone snipes each other from the distance and say, oh, kill capture and, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a cannibal. Like, kill on the spot. Yeah, yeah, they just get killed on the spot or a base raid and they no, die nobody, defending like, their no, base raids. Nobody RPs to the level you did. No, nobody rp to the level we did. Nobody's ever done that. It was so new. T- it was just a new, like, um... Because because we know like it's not convenient. Like honestly, what you could have just done is like we could yeah kill Bonko right there, or guys. Uh, and um, we'll do it, and it's a uh, equal trade. No, you guys went through it, we, and honestly, it like strengthened the bond between the cartel and, and gang. the gang in the long run. Yeah. The thing is, is that like the what, I guess the admins were just surprised of how much we put into it instead of just like okay, put Bonko. Because you know what? Just shoot them, yeah. Yeah, no. The, what, the admin thought we were just going to do is like, okay, we're just going to set up Bonko to be like, oh, hey, hey Bonko, get, oh, go to the cars and the, we're going to go there. I think what the, I think what they thought we were going to do was, um okay, let's drive to a PvP zone. Bonko, stay by the car so nobody steals them. We snipe Bonko. No. Instead, we were like, okay, um, uh, uh, betray Bonko by us um, align by us forming an alliance with the cartel behind Bonko's back. The cartel tricks Bonko into thinking they're gonna execute us. Bonko, we uh, we pretend to uh, we pretend to um, you know uh, execute Bonko when in reality we are actually executing Bonko with the cartel leaders together. The cartel leaders. We're so excited, to be honest with you. They brought out guns. Like, really expensive guns. <laughs> like, the cartel leaders brought out the, like, really awesome-ass guns. They weren't, like... They weren't just pulling out Mosins or, like, a pistol. No, they brought out their heavy set guns. Yeah. Like, fucking, um... They weren't cheap. They weren't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nobody was cheap that day. I got my AK. Um, Russ, I think he got his favorite rifle out. Yeah, nobody, um, nobody decided to be cheap, and nobody decided to do Everyone a half Everyone went all out that day. Everyone went all out. Nobody half-assed it. And honestly, it was worth it. It was. Um, the cartel and I were like, the cartel was so happy to do it, to be honest with you. They thought it was like the most, they, because pro- it was um, the most fun they had. Yeah, man, and it's probably the first time anyone's done anything like that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was the first time anybody has ever, like, um, military style executed somebody in a server like that. That's what, like, <laughs> the admin's words, not mine. Like, you know, executed somebody like that. It's like, honestly, like, you make me want to try and do this. Like, it sounds so fucking fun, man. <sighs> Give me another. <laughs> Give me another. Bob's been drinking, everybody. <laughs> no, not uh, alcohol, obviously. Yeah, good old soda, so good old, good soda old, pop. Yeah, good old soda pop. Good old soda pop. Good old soda pop. But yeah, man, you I, this story is so good. It makes you want to play Daisy again. It makes you. It makes me want to at least. It makes me want to go out there and maybe like, you know, maybe get like this kind of experience. Cause, you know, I played Daisy not as long as you have, obviously. But, I, you know, I played my, my good amount. I mean, I think it was me who bought the game first, right? Yeah, it was you, and then you told me about it, and I just got into it. Yeah, I introduced you to it. Yeah. And, and, you know, I had my good time. I think I, I bought Daisy purely because it was, like, the forest. <laughs> and it was base building and, like, item whor- and whoring. Like a little bit of a little bit of PvP in the zombies. And a little bit of PvP zombies. And the forest is... It's sort of like that, but single player, more survival-y, I guess. More, a little more horror. 
But pretty much I was looking for another game that had, you know, base building. That same and, style. Like, item, item hoarding. Hoarding. Yeah. Gotta keep saying hoarding. Hoarding. <laughs> hoarding. And yeah, I ended up with Daisy, and I thought, oh, you know what, this is this is pretty close. You know, I can make my base. Uh, I could I could hoard my hoard my items. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I thought you know close enough because there really is no other game like uh, the Forest. If I'm being real with you, I mean, there's Green Hell, there's Seven Days to Die, but they're they're a little too like, not like gimmicky, but it 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 just wasn't as natural feeling as. The Forest did. It makes me so sad because now Sons of the Forest is out and I can... I'll probably never get to play the game if I'm being real with you. Which sucks. It sucks. Um, Unless that yeah. shit comes out on PS5, which I don't have either. I, I probably will never play the game, so... I mean, Daisy was as close as I got to it. And then I introduced Bob to it. Bob ended up loving it a lot. I, I think did. I gave you the controller once and you just played a shit ton by yourself. I fell in love. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. It was love at first sight, really. I, oh man. I trained my, P I actually learned PvP on my first days of DayZ. Because there was, um in your ser in the PlayStation, there was this modded server called Deathmatch. Where it was just strictly PvP. Yeah, that's true. And that's where I learned how to PvP in DayZ. And then... Once I switched to PlayStation, once I switched to, not PlayStation, PC. once I switched to PC, that's when I learned about the base building and the mechanics and um, hoarding, how to deal with the zombies infected and the disease and all of like, the highly detailed stuff about the game. And then, obviously, the PvP came after. Because, but it came after because that's, because I already had experience because of, you know, playing PvP on PlayStation. Yeah. I mean, did it translate well? A little bit. Actually, yeah. a little bit better because because the keyboard and mouse, with the mouse, you can be really detailed on where you're shooting at. It, well, yeah, that's what I've heard. While on your, while on, you know. Yeah, it's a little clunkier. It's a little clunkier. With clunkier joysticks. With joysticks and stuff like that. And, um, you know, obviously there's a little bit of um, aim assist on joystick. Well, um, is there? I think there is a little bit of aim assist oh, on joystick. If that's the truth, and I'm a suck ass because <laughs> man, I'm terrible at aiming. Yeah, but wow, I it's warm. That's why I drink it quick. It's really warm. Yeah, I mean, how long is this episode going for? Yeah, it's like uh, almost two hours. Almost two hours. I think it's all right. It's I'm, time to cut it loose here. One time. Yeah, I'll cut yeah, that let's, out. Let's cut the darker stuff. Yeah, I'll cut the darker stuff. Out. Let's keep it lighthearted. Yeah. Well, okay, so uh, we're we're done here. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Hope you like this episode. Have a good night, guys.